Welcome to a reading for my Blu-ray subscribers. So this reading is for my Blu-ray subscribers. Place your energy into the cards now. Give your permission for the angels to read your energy and to give you some advice, some guidance, some suggestions on how you can navigate the next few weeks whenever you come across this reading. So if you want to receive this reading, you have to be a subscriber. Otherwise, the messages probably won't resonate for you. It's specifically you're giving permission. You are accessing the frequency, the energies of this channel by working with me and through me on your behalf. And let's see what your angels have to say. Okay. First card is Release, Archangel Azrael. Ooh, you've got the Wish Fulfilled card, the Nine of Water. So what you want is wanting you, it's on its way. Let's see what you have to do to get there or to soften and receive. Okay, we've got Archangel Michael. We've got Archangel Zadkiel, okay. So, it's the end of a phase of a situation. This is a time of spiritual transformation and it's a time where you are ready to move on. And if you've been doubting moving on, your angels are reminding you it's safe for you to move on. It's safe for you to move on to greener pastures, okay? Perhaps in the recent past, there was an illusion of being trapped Perhaps you felt restricted in some way, like you were limited, like there was just, you were in a rock and a hard place. A lot of that was self-imposed. It was, it was a lack of self-confidence or a lack of believing in your abilities. But some of you as well had environmental factors, like, you know, perhaps the economy, inflation, things like that were affecting your ability to move forward. Um, but you were also quite fearful of taking action but the cards are showing me your angels are talking through the cards talking to me as i'm tuning into added messages on to what what the cards are expressing you're moving away now from those fears and you're realizing that even if you are afraid it's just so important that you squarely face the hard work or the uncomfortable things that have to be done in order for you to move forward now, with the six of earth, you're going to get the resources you need to make that move, that movement forward, okay? So perhaps up until recently, like I said, you just didn't have the right environment or resources to make the move. Well, the six of earth is saying gifts of money, time or effort. So what you need, the abundance that you need, and the abundance is the ability to do what you need to do when you need to do it, that's going to come into your life very, very soon. So new career opportunities, receiving a loan or paying off of debts, okay? The wheel is here, so the wheel is gonna turn in your favor. This is a time of positive change. This is where destiny and fate can step in and help you. A situation suddenly moves forward. Fortune is on your side. And there's Archangel Michael there giving you protection, giving you the strength and confidence to move forward. But the great thing about the Wheel of Fortune is it's it's a good luck card. It's, it's a card that says, you know, where previously you might have been pushing the rock up the hill, it's where things start to become easier, doors open, people are more, more susceptible to uh, people are more open to hearing you and to helping you but it is a card that very much says allow fate to give you a, a twist of fate like allow that to happen as well that's going to with that good luck and with that that movement and with that feeling of things getting lighter and a bit easier that's going to bring you back to zero point balance 
So zero, as you can see, the dreamer, okay? This is the fool card in the traditional tarot. It's the same meaning, okay? Archangel Metatron is the energy around this card. So the fool is a card that means, and this it's called the dreamer in this deck. It's all about taking a leap of faith. It's all about starting over. You're back at zero, right? You're back at zero point, neutral. You're ready to... You could go left, you could go right. You're back at the starting point. You're back, you're back at the beginning. So follow your dreams, unexpected opportunities. It's a card of, again, kind of good luck, folly, like, um, or folly's not the right word. Um, you know when you go through those periods in life where everything just flows and you don't know why you're like i'm not really doing anything different it's almost like life just can feel effortless when you're going through that patch it's 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 that kind of energy where things start to move again now ace of fire an exciting new opportunity career advancement change your life now so there's definitely a lot around projects work creativity um, money, money is definitely a strong, I really feel like you're going to be making more money this year. The Ace of Wands or the Ace of Fire in this deck, this is a card of inspiration. It's a card where if you've been feeling gloomy or unmotivated, the Ace of Fire is going to put fire back in your belly and, and, and fire up your, your creative ideas. And, you know, with that, that, that wand, that one magical wand of energy it's very focused so you're going to feel more clarity and you're going to you're going to find over the next i'd say two weeks that's when that twist of faith is going to come in okay that's what i'm getting around that and that's when it's going to lead you to the page of water so page of cups okay a new person enters your life a relationship begins a new phase heightened psychic abilities so the page of water is intuitive, sensitive, artistic, and friendly. This is about making synchronistic choices. Like instead of, instead of going a certain way home from work that day, you decide you're going to go up to that new shopping mall and you're going to get a new, you're going to buy some underwear. And you, that's, you know, that's where you meet that old friend who invites you to a party or invites you to an event where you go and then you meet this person. It's that kind of, the cups have an emotional, soulful, spiritual element energy to them. And then that's leading to the nine of cups or the nine of water. And this is a wish fulfilled. So it says here, your wish comes true. Okay. Concerns fade away and a new love of life. So, this is one of my favorite cards. I love the Ace of Cups, I love the Two of Cups, and I love the Nine of Cups because this is like relief when you get this. It's like your wish is fulfilled. Now, let's just have a look here. Then we have the Nine of Earth, Nine of Pentacles, enjoying life's little luxuries, spending quiet time alone and successful self-employment. So as you can see, there's a lot about employment here. There's a lot about, this seems to be very focused on work. If you're retired, if you're no longer working a job, it your work is work, like your life is work. So that could be raising, you know, maybe you're, you've given birth to, to a child and that's your job now. You are raising this, this human being into a fully formed, fledged, person so take the meanings of the cards and the reading and adapt it to your own life situation and circumstances so and then for other people it will be that they're going self-employed maybe they're setting up as a light worker or they're aiming to progress and advance in their current company so very very positive around receiving all that then we have number 14 balance so the need for balance and moderation, cooperation and compromise, and wait for perfect timing. So this is all about two seemingly opposite energies. So we'll say oil and water. And even though you think oil and water can't mix, this card says otherwise. So if there's something that you feel 
oh it's impossible I couldn't do that like I, I who am I to to try and take that on it's a card that says if you create balance within you you can create the impossible you can do what hasn't been done before you can break out of the mold and do something spectacular and unusual and needed and fresh in the world okay and that leads you to becoming the emperor number four stable think of four legs on a table it's steady it's solid it's balanced okay the emperor is the four kings of the tarot deck in one he is sure-footed he is confident he is masculine in his energy he he gets stuff done he knows what he's doing he knows who he is um he's happy he's content he enjoys his life and he knows what he wants and that's like that's the end of your reading and that spread so you're you're heading towards that so organization and logic structure and discipline and leadership the fact that it's this is all a tapestry leading you to the emperor tells me that this is you. You're going to boss up. You're going to be your own boss. There's a lot of information here around self-employment. So if that's something you're tinkering on, take this as you know guidance to definitely explore that. But if it's not literal, becoming your own boss, your own self-employed person, it can also be that perhaps you're becoming... A supervisor of some kind in, an, in a company in an organization or it can also be that you're a leader that you've become maybe you you've become a mother and you're now the leader you're the matriarch in your household in your family you're running a household maybe you have a gang of kids and you have to be that boss mother maternal matriarchal leadership type role maybe um and I'm just speaking from the female because I'm female. Obviously, if you're male, flip that, you know, it's, there's nothing gender specific here. I'm just speaking about what I know. Um, what else do I want to say about the emperor? Yeah, so the message I'm getting is don't suffer fools. If there's somebody who you feel in your body, you're not safe around or they have, a false energy about them like they you, they're very nice to your face but you just get a ooh I don't know I just I don't I don't trust that person please please listen to that please pay attention to that because the emperor is somebody who doesn't second guess themselves the emperor is embodied in their power and they know when somebody is being fake and they know when someone is being deceptive so I just wanted to just place your energy into these cards now. I wanted to say that because I feel like there's someone around you who pretends to be your friend or pretends maybe it's a colleague who's threatened by your talents or maybe it's an in-law family member or somebody. But just mind your energy and know that they have no power over you. You are the emperor energy. You're bossing up. Whichever way you want to put that into your life, you're becoming a leader in your own life. You're becoming, you're somebody who's in the driver's seat of your own experience, okay? And your angels want you to know that these people cannot touch you, but don't waste your energy crying, talking, bitching about them because every time you do you're giving your energy away to them so just to be aware of that okay right yeah look straight away you got the strength part so you have the strength to deal with any of those kind of silly petty bitchy energies around you you're well able to figure that out you have the strength, don't go into fear, okay? Now, you need to be your own light. So this is this is the hermit, but this is connecting me, pulling me back, because this is the reading is all connected to you. It's about being your own light, like the emperor. The emperor is not 
he's looking to himself. He's become the emperor. He had to become the other kings. He had to grow through all his trials and tribulations and become the emperor. That is where you're headed. If not, you're already there. So be your own light. Get back to your own energy. So if you're, if you're talking about this bully or this person who you don't feel safe around, you need to bring the focus back on you and your life. Because when we waste time talking about people who don't deserve the breath out of our mouths, all we're doing is leaking power. We're just giving our power away, okay? So come back to yourself realign with yourself and be your own light be your own energy this will lead to healing three of cups this will lead to celebrating your promotion or success or your bossing up or you're having this new baby or becoming a father or whatever that is for you it leads to healing energy then we have the knight of pentacles okay so the hard work you've put in is paying off I know you may not have felt that recently. You felt like, you know, I put all this blood, sweat and tears into this and it, this project has not has not taken off. But this card is saying that your steady, secure, your focus, your drive is gonna is, is paying off now, okay? And that will lead to swift communication that's going to give you the information that you need now to boss up, to step up and upgrade, okay? Um, delays are over, there's movement, there's messages, there's emails coming your way. As you step into this higher energy and you upgrade, you need to accept that as you work your way up and as you evolve as a spiritual human being, you're going to have to accept that death, change and loss is part of the journey. The death card just means change. It means let what's dead go. So in order to, if, so if, as an example, if you're gonna become a boss, you're gonna to have to let go of being the support worker. You're gonna to have to let go of being the geo, the general operative, because you're going up into an elevated position. So whatever that is for you in your life, whether you're getting married, you're having a baby, whether you're becoming a high priestess, whether you're becoming a yoga teacher, whatever it is. You're going to have to give up being a student to become the teacher, to become the leader. Okay, so that's what the change is. Now that can cause a conflict within you. That can bring up our fears, that can make us question ourselves. Oh my God, am I able to do this? Am I a good enough teacher? Am I a good enough leader? Who am I to, to be the boss here? You have to welcome the conflict that that will kick up within you and, and, and grow and move through it in order to step into this higher upgraded position. There's competition around you. There's people who are threatened by you. Do not buy into that conflict. See, they're, they're all in competition, right? This is down to a lack of communication as well. Make sure that you're communicating clearly with the right people involved in this project or situation and that means not communicating and not sharing your plans with the wrong people okay that's a message <clears throat> all right where are we at where are we at okay page of wands this upgrade this glow up is going to lead to adventure it's going to lead to you getting fired up for life again and it's going to lead to big fast changes the knight of swords so you need to be confident get focused and get ready because these energies are swiftly moving into your life this promotion this upgrade this movement into a position of power I'm getting is, 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 is swiftly approaching for you, to be honest, okay? Now, check in with balance, with four of pentacles, okay? With work, money, your physical well-being. Um, ask yourself if you're being too cautious and if you're holding back from taking this leap of faith because this is a great time 
the fool to start fresh. And you got this card in the last spread. So it was called the dreamer in that deck. This is the fool. This is saying to you, it's safe for you to take a leap of faith. It's safe for you to have this zero start, fresh, brand new beginning, okay? But as you do that, and as you step into that, just take your time. Take it all in, okay? The Knight of Cups, he's like, he's plodding along. He's just going, okay, let me just survey my, let me survey my environment. Let me get the law of the land. So, you know, if you're in a new job or you're in a new power or role, as I said, maybe you become a parent, maybe you've got married, maybe you've stepped into this new position. Take your time. Don't freak out. Be calm and get to know, oh, but also, oh, this is so important. This is coming through. Do not be afraid to ask for help. Don't be afraid to ask for help, okay? You're going to have to reach out and say to people, hi, I'm new here, can you help me? Or if you're a new parent, don't be afraid to call your friend who has three kids and say, I don't, you know, can you give me some advice about this? Or read up on it or go to the library and research. Do your research. Be prepared, okay? You are the magician. You can manifest your desire and you're doing it. But before that, the tower happens. So this sudden change can trigger all your fears and insecurities and doubts and anxieties. And it's really, there's no point um, in, in, in falling down that rabbit hole because the magician comes and the king of cups comes right after. So just know that if you have this little wobble moment, it's a natural part of change. It's a natural part of making that shift. Okay, so the king of cups, you have the commitment, you have the devotion, you have the maturity, you've earned this. You've earned it, you've got this, you can do it. It's yours if you want it, okay? It's yours if you want it. Okay, that's your reading, my lovely Blu-rays. I wore my blue top for you guys. Well, I had it on anyway, but because I do wear a lot of blue, but I was like, who would I do this reading for? And I was like, hmm, I'm very blue. And I have, as you know, I'm a Blu-ray too. So sending you so much love. If you enjoy this reading and you'd like a personal reading with me, you can go to my website in the description box below, aileendoyle.com. And you can also be very kind and give me a thumbs up. So wishing you, whatever time you watch this reading, it's meant for you. So wishing you whatever time this is, blessings of the season. Bye bye.